All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be doing is jumping in to the Jungle Cup Great League Edition. Now, the Pokemon we're going to be taking in is Lantern, Venusaur, and Talonflame. Uh, we've not had the best of luck in this league with a previous party, so I thought we'd go in with something new. Um, Talonflame does have Incinerate, Flame Charge, and Fly. Venusaur has Vine Whip, Sludge Bomb, and Frenzy Plant. And Lantern has Spark, Surf, and Thunderbolt. So let's see if we can get a W on this. Already got a decent start, obviously with Talonflame being there, we should be okay. Um, I'm actually not going to use a shield here. I want to see how much this does. I'm not really versed at Beedrill. Yeah, so it didn't do anything at all. Obviously, it did get the attack boost, which isn't the greatest. So we are going to have to be very careful here. Um... We do have quick attacks, so we should be okay. So let's block this one. It will still get the attack boost, which is what's so scary about this. Um, which means obviously we can't go to Venusaur or someone like that because it will just kill us. So sorry that I won't be looking at the camera too much, obviously with the gameplay being down, down on my phone. It's a little bit hard to do. Now that's all the shields gone, right? So if I can, I'm hoping to get to a Thunderbolt. I didn't get there. That's really bad on my part because now it can just kill us in one go. Um, now what Pokemon is Stunfisk? Okay, well we'll swap out to Venusaur because it's the best chance of surviving this. Um see what happens. Discharge, yeah. So we did we did really well there. Altaria, okay, well I think we've lost this. Um I don't think we can win, especially with losing that final surf. That would have been key to us winning, but unfortunately we didn't get that off. And now he's just gonna take us down to Oh, we got our move off first. That is huge. Obviously, this gives us an attack boost as well against a Stunfisk. So, we might be okay. Right, let's see what happens here. Because so obviously, it does have Mud Shot, which, uh, sorry, Discharge, which does will do a lot to us. Yeah, I think we might die here. So, if we gave it a good run, obviously, losing that final surf, we're trying to get Thunderbolt, probably wasn't the best bet. Ooh, we survived it. Lovely. But we're not going to survive this. Oh, we got a draw. I've never had that happen before. Oh. Even though it was a draw, I lost. That makes no sense, but okay. That doesn't matter. It, we gave it a good run. We didn't technically lose, so I'm happy with that. Um, Talonflame seems broken. So I'm really happy I did actually use a um, Elite TM to get Talonflame up to where it needs to be. I feel like Talonflame's ditching here. Yeah, straight away. Knew that from the get-go. So let's go to Talonflame here. Block this. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm guessing Power Whip. Yeah. So, I don't even think we use a move here. I would rather block this one and have two moves ready on Talonflame, ready to go for the next one. Because it should just die straight away. Yeah, so, really tough is a powerful mon. You may not seem it, but they're usually quite bulky. So I'm surprised it didn't block that, knowing that I've got a second one. Obviously this is double attack boost here. So and the next mon is a Talonflame. But it does give it two um blocks on us. Which we don't have on it, which is a big deal. So, he kind of has to block this. 
And the reason I went for Flame Charge there was to get an attack boost if I was able to get another attack off. Um, I'm guessing this will do the same. Brave Bird. Okay. I mean, I would have gone for Flame Charge just to get the attack boost knowing that it's my final Mon. So... Swap out to Venusaur. There's a reason for that, by the way. Because obviously, this Talon Flame's now got its move up. So, having it use Flame Charge isn't a bad thing. Um, it's basically to make sure Lantern survives. It, it probably would have survived that, knowing it's water. But, just in case, you may as well swap out. Get it, let it get the kill on Venusaur to move on to the next Mon. Um, so I am learning different parts of PvP, so I'm really happy with that. Because um, I would never have done that previously. So, And this team seems pretty okay. Obviously, it did count as a loss, the draw, but I'll take it as a draw, to be honest. What's our first match? A Bomber Snow. This is a bad matchup for us. Um, but obviously, it's using the Ice move, so we should be okay. Obviously, it probably will have Power Whip, so we will have to block this. He probably won't block this. Meaning we get free chip damage. Yeah. I really want to not block this, because I feel like it's going to be a nice move. Weather Ball. We probably could have tanked that, to be honest. This one will probably be Power Whip. Yeah, kind of saw that come in. The ice attack. That's really a shame because I, I kind of called it. Um, there is a reason, by the way, that I've stayed in. It's basically to get the extra moves off. Um, now that he's switched out, probably going to do the same myself. Obviously, we are... Quad effect, uh, yeah, quad effective on this. Now, I'll probably block this. We don't need to use a charge attack here to kill. Yeah, Stone Age would have done a lot of damage. Now, it should go back to a Bomber Snow. Yeah, now it has Weather Ball and Energy Ball. So, I would like to see how much Weather Ball does. I feel like it's not going to be... Oh, it's a fire one. Never mind. That was really bad on my part. What's his, fi what's his final Pokemon? That's all we need to know. Okay, so I think we've lost. Um, the reason I say that is he still has two shields. I don't think we have any. It didn't even use a shield there. Um, that was quick thinking on my part, knowing that the... Oh my god, Lantern didn't die from that. However, we did lose the uh, Flame Charge attack boost, so... I think we've lost this one. It's not too bad knowing that we, we kind of had so many losses before this. So I'll take losing one um, properly, rather than it being a draw. Just because we didn't have the Pokemon to take it down. If I would have swapped to a Bomber Snow there, he would have swapped out to Altavia. Or Quagsire, which would have been even worse. So, we are getting a lot of Mons that are just not weak to Lantern as the first one. So, I might actually swap out to Talonflame to be the first Mon. Obviously, we can get the free attack boost straight away. So, it won't be too bad. So let's see what our next, see what I mean? The one time we go out with Talonflame, it's a Greninja. Just would be, wouldn't it? We're gonna have to block that, it's gonna be a Hydro Cannon. Well, 
Well, so you swap that out to Clod's Eye. Okay. Now that is a weird choice. Depends what moves it's got. Because we are poison, so we're not going to take super effective damage to poison. Um, it is ground though, so it probably has Earthquake. Oh, Sludge Bomb. Okay. I'm not going to block the next move. So we still have a shield left. So we are one above this now. Um, the issue is we don't have anything to take down Greninja. Which is a really bad spot to be in. Knowing that he's super effective on us is not great. Um, it'll probably be a sludge bomb here. Because ground won't do anything to us. Yeah. Um, I'm, obviously he doesn't have a shield left. So we might actually do quite a bit of damage here. That's actually really key for us. I think he was thinking I didn't have enough energy to do this again. Which is why I kept attacking in the first one. Now we have a really good standing. Obviously this is going to be Night Slash. I feel like. Yeah. Which does nothing to us. Okay. Okay. Flame charge on the Skarmory, it should be really easy to take down from here. Obviously then we've got the Greninja to take down, which won't be too difficult from here. Especially with our Lantern, knowing Spark and Thunderbolt, all we have to do is get there first. Um, Incinerate won't be good here, so I have to use Fly just to get the extra damage. Yep, yeah, and... Oh, Skarmory did actually die. I thought Skarmory was still alive, which would have been a bit better for him, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really enjoying Talonflame. It's been a while since Talonflame has been a bit meta in Pokemon itself. So having it meta in Pokemon Go is really cool. Um, and if you do watch our Pokemon series with Nathan, he just caught a Talonflame, which I'm really jealous of because it is a really good Pokemon in that generation. So it is key for him winning quite a few battles. This Venusaur has to swap out. There is no way he's staying in. Oh wow he is. Okay. Okay, well that's a free Pokemon dead. I'm not gonna block this. I probably should have blocked it. But I will block the next one if it comes to it. <laughs> um, what's the next one that's going to come out? Um, let's use Frenzy Plant. It kind of has to block this, maybe. Skarmory is bulky though, so yeah. Um, we have two shields, so I don't think we're in any danger here. Didn't think it'd just let that hit here, though. <laughs> like, at all. Talonflame is so good. Um, I'm actually really impressed. Okay, well, we'll block that. Both of these mons are weak to fire. Which makes Talonflame our, like, our winner, basically. Um, if he lets this go through, he's an idiot for a few reasons, and we'll go through why. Because I instantly get the attack boost, so I win against Skarmory straight away. Yeah. I would have to have blocked that if I was the other team, because I know that both my mons are weak to fire. The only way for me to win that... Is for me to get the attack boost, but still have a second one. Because then you could at least whittle it down. Um, but that didn't happen, unfortunately, for him. 
All right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Oh, an elite charge team. Sorry, that was just on the outro. I do apologize. Um, we are on the like last five, so I might actually do another video right now just to get these five done. Um, because once we get these five um, encounters out of the way, we are near enough level 20, so I'm really happy with that. Um, but like I said, Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you do enjoy the PvP videos and if I'm doing okay. Let me know if the camera's okay. I am trying to do my best to make sure they're in the right angles um, and also to put the correct Pokemon behind me. So we do have talent in there at the minute, which is really cool. Um, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll speak to you all in the next one.